Any of Abdul? Hello? Assalamualaikum, Christian P. Wa alaikum assalam, my friend. You are live on air, people, they hear you. So you were you were an ex-Muslim, right? I was. I, I mean, you are an ex-Muslim. I, I was an ex-Muslim. Oh, okay. So now what happened? Tell us, my friend. What happened? Why oh, you it's a long time? story, Christian friends. Uh, you can make it it's, short um, if you want. I grew up in... Um, in two different religion parents actually and it's um, my mom was christian Protestant, hmm. and my dad is a sunni muslim but i never uh, studied bible in my life before because i grew up in an islamic country where you know, the bible is forbidden and my mom has to has no choice to marry my dad because that's the only way uh, Muslim men trick into Christian uh, into Muslim. So it was a painful journey. At the age of nine, I had to learn Quran and Hadith and Sirah Rasulullah, Muhammad Rasulullah, mm. and stuff. And I went to Madrasa to study Islam. But it's so painful journey. I understand. But uh, what make you decide to leave the cult of Islam? What is uh, like the real reason? I mean, the major reason. Yes. Because um, I thought that Islam was the true religion, the Quran and Hadith and Sirah and etc. Mm. And I do believe that I did believe that Muhammad was the final messenger, Hatan and Nabi. Mm. So um, completely changed my perception until 2013. 2013, my mom passed away. And I had to come back home to pay last, um, what you call it, last respect to my mom. But I didn't know before that. So at her ceremony, like, you know, someone, a Christian, sometimes you do have like praying, something, you know, because I was still a Muslim that time. Yeah. Then I went back to see my, mom, my dad cry. So obviously I had to um, pray you know, in Islamic way, you have to pray for the dead people because it's, that's what Islamic do. You know, pray for Muhammad, pray for, her, for other Rasulullah who have passed away. So I pray for my dad, you know, and say Surah Yassin, stuff like that. So I went back home and thinking, I, I pay my last, my last respect to my mother. So I went back, went back to you, to Europe. And um, in 2014, I have encountered with Christ. It's amazing, you know. I, I've never, you know, I've never studied Bible. I've never read the Bible. Never, never in my life. I mean, you know, grew up in an Islamic country. It was difficult for me, especially. My mom used to argue with my dad because she wanted her children to follow her. Obviously, my mom name, my Islamic name is Nurjana. You know what Nurjana means. Mm -hmm. It's light of heaven. <coughs> so um, I went back home. Long story. I went back home, back to where I am now. I'm not telling where I am, just in case you no, know no somebody, people yeah, from back no home need. know where I am. Yeah, I don't need. So okay. um, I went back home where I am now. So in February 2014, I had an encounter with Jesus, and it's so real, Christian, and I'm not, you know, trying to make it up. And in the middle of the night, he came in and stood in front of me. And I can still remember the face on it. It's like, I don't know whether you have watched the Gospel of John movie, exactly the same face like that. And he stood in front of me and he sp spoke to me three words. He said to me, come and follow my path. And then he's gone. I woke up in the middle of the night. I look at my watch on the wall. It was 12 o'clock midnight. And then that's, it started questioning myself. I said to myself, is it Jesus actually God? Or is it just Isa al Masi? you know? Because mm -hmm. in Islam, it's, like, it's, Asma, it's, it's Jesus yeah. Christ. So, and then the next day, um, 
I went back to work and I spoke to my friend who, who, who was Christian. Christian. I said to her, to her is it true um, that Jesus Christ is God? Yeah, what happened? Tell me about it. I said, well, I have a dream something. Um, Jesus appearing to me. But I thought Jesus is only uh, uh, like Salam, just, just a prophet. And he said, no, 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 Jesus is God. Are you sure? Yeah, 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 yeah. If you don't believe me, I'll give you a Bible. I'm, I thought to myself, mm, Bible, I'm not touching this Bible because Bible corrupt. Islam told me the Bible corrupted. So he, he invited me to come to the church. I said, well, I'm not sure coming to church this. And the following days, I felt really, really uncomfortable. I think the Holy Spirit telling me, you don't believe that Jesus is God. I can prove you. So I felt that night I was uncomfortable. And I said, I questioned myself. I said, Jesus, if you really real, I can't sleep real well tonight. I'm restless. I don't know whether you, I believe you're God or not, but I want you to know if you are really God and you love me as a son, please comfort me. Then I went to sleep. The next morning, I felt comfort, but in my sleeping, I felt like someone is like a father cuddling me. And I felt comfort and I said, yes, my answer been, you know, my question been answered by you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. But I wasn't, I wasn't sure because I want to know by myself where it says in the Bible, come and follow me. So I went to church, followed with my friend, you know. First time I come into church, am I going to do the right thing or no? Am I not? But the Holy Spirit said, come on, just enjoy it. You don't know what's going to happen. But just go in. But I felt so comfort, the Holy Spirit said, just go to the church. And then my friend gave me a Bible. And my friend told me, read uh, from Genesis right to, um, um, what you call it, um, Revelation. Mm -hmm. So I tried to read Genesis, tried to read, but just randomly and go to um, gospel as well, the New Testament. But I still not comfort, you know, which actually wanted, I wanted to know what he says about that one. So um, I still go to church, you know, went to church and still, I have a question myself, and I said, I have asked God, I asked Jesus, if you are real, you know, again, this is a third question. I want to know, because I'm not comfort this one. Can you tell me what is in the Bible? So six months after that, I keep, kept coming back, back to church. I think 2004, yeah, 2015, I had another dream. I've never, I never, you know, knowing which Bible, but in the in 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 the in the dream, I read um, Isaiah, but I've never opened it. The Isaiah, you know, the whole chapter, I just flick over, flick over, and in there, I read it, but I wasn't sure which Isaiah. So I opened my Bible, I look in the Old Testament. It says quite clearly. And when I read the Isaiah uh, 43, verse 10. Hello? Yeah, I hear you. I'm listening, my friend. All right. <coughs> yeah, just, and then my word, Power Park Christian Trends. And um, the reason that I was still a Muslim, because I believe that time Islam was true. And even I said to my wife, I will never go back. I will never go to Christian Christianity because that's not right because I've been told Islam was true. And even so, I married with my wife. I said, you know, you can, I can marry a Christian, um, but I will never be a Christian. I, will, I wanted my children to be a Muslim, all of them, because I believe that Islam was true. And she said, this is what bugging me before I had encounter with Christ. My wife said, you know, if you're not going to follow um, me, What's going to happen? Are you end up being like your dad or your mom? Because we cannot be together because either one way or the other. 
And I said to myself, this is question, big question. I even consulted my friend who is devout Muslim. All he said, I'm just praying and just showing that you're, you're a good Muslim, stuff like that. It doesn't work, you know. But I wanted, you know, God to open her heart, to come to Islam. But he said, that's the best thing you can do. But that's bungling it, my question. And little I know, long short story, my cousin who is Christian, she told me oh, the whole life your mom been praying for me, for her children. But praise the Lord, Alhamdulillah, all of her children now Christian. She's been praying, she suffer all her life. Because even my dad, when she married my mom, all his inheritance, because you marry Muslim, uh, Christian, he, he, they, they, they classify him as a kafir. Right. That's why I, I, I don't put my Muslim name because it's best for me not to be Christian. Well, my friend, I'm really happy for you. You have a very touching story. I'm sure people are enjoying it. And, and I'm very, I also, very um, happy for you to say to, to hear this. Continue again. Okay? Thank you, Christian twin brother. And the other thing, uh, I met uh, Nabil Qureshi before he passed away. Okay. And I spoke to him. I explained my journey to Christ. And he was, oh, he, said, he said, oh, it's amazing. I said, well, yeah, I read your book as well. You know, your book is Seeking Allah, Finding Jesus. I met him and I took a picture together. And we were sharing, you know, the, the, the journey as well. So, yeah, I, I just want to tell to everyone who's Christian, Please have a strong faith with Jesus because the only thing you hold it, wherever you come from, you know, just um, if you're Christian, don't let a Muslim try to trick you. Because my, my mom been tricked, you see, when she was married, my, my dad, she was saying to my dad, I don't want to be Christian, I don't want to be Muslim, Islam, Muslim, Muslima. I want to be, oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. We can marry in an Islamic way, but, you know, but I, you promise me you're going to be Christian. And he's, he said, yeah, 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 I promise. But he's using takia, you see. The minute she got married with him, everything changed. And even the last, before he died, he said, you can take all your children to Christianity, but when I die, but not now. But how could you do that? I already, you know, been educated by Islamic way, you know, I, I, I pray five times a day, I know how to pray, you know, if I'm not a real Muslim, I could, I, I like to say, this is Fajr, yeah, Subuh, Usali Fadu Subuh, Rokata Ini Mustapila Qiblati Adhan Lillah Lai Ta'ala, Allahu Akbar Kabira Wa Hamdulillahi Kasiru, Wa Subuhana Wa Rukrotala, Ini Wajah Tukwa Cila Lillahi Fatra Samawati, and blah, 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 that's a pray, that you do it as a Muslim, is that right, Christian? Hmm. Well, hello. Yes, I am. I'm listening, my friend. Go ahead. Yeah. That's, and then you just say Surah Al Fatiha. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin, Arhamani Rahim, Maliki Yawmidin. Ia kana budua, ia kana stab, ih jina siratul mustaqim. Siratul la jina anam ta alaim, khairil maktubi alim walad dolin amin. Then you say, uh, whatever prayer you can, you can say, but I didn't know that before until I have translation in English and I know exactly what, what that means. Because Muhammad said that's the third of, of the chapter is more powerful. But later I know that the translation is denying Jesus as God. And it's, it's amazing, just it's about, every time I have a bad dream, I always recite that one in. And I knew that it was Jesus, because who else is going to protect me from devil or Satan or jinn or iblis? If it was my, our Messiah, Jesus Christ. I mean, well, my friend, life, you know, uh, our life with the Messiah is full of stories. And you did share some of it, and is I'm sure many of the audience they have their own stories too. But our yeah. our Lord is a living Lord, and He is not an idol pagan God, the same as the God of Islam. And Thank I'm you. happy that you call me anytime you have something to say. Feel free to share. I will share to you again, Christian. I'm so glad that I can get through because 
every time I ask people, what is this channel? I mean, what, because there's two, two, the uh, Christian print. One is a United States, one with the symbol with Christ, you know? Yeah, there's many, they use my name actually, but uh, in order always to follow and to know where I am, you see, mm -hmm. we have a channel in minds.com and Batterion. Mm -hmm. You can go to Batterion, you see the banner in the screen. So you can mm -hmm. go anytime to Batterion and you will see what is my video there and that will tell you what is my official channel for the moment. Because Muslims, they keep fighting me, trying to, to, to ban me, you know. So yeah. if I lose a I channel, don't know why, um, that's normal. I um, mean, this is very normal. Print. But you can go always to minds.com slash Christian Prince. Mm -hmm. I have my Twitter too, which mm -hmm. is a Twitter, as you see, Christ, uh, uh, Christ the One. And then we have the Patreon, and we have Facebook. So there's no way you will not find me anywhere you go in those uh, sites. And I have my uh, page in uh, Instagram, Instagram, Arabian mm -hmm. Prophet. You can find what is the channel I am I'm using right now. So anytime you, you lose my channel for some reason, let us say this channel is deleted for some reason, you always mm -hmm. will find a way to find me and how to contact me. And you can Thank attend you so my much, live Richard broadcast. Green. You're my brother in Christ, you know, you, you open so many Muslim to know, you know, I, I didn't know before Muhammad um, about his, because when I, I have been taught as a Muslim, young Muslim, when I was little, Muhammad was a warrior, extra, etc. And I didn't know that uh, so many things contradict, you know, I've, I've, I've learned from you. And, um, you know, I obviously Google it about the um, Sirah and Hadith and tafsir, everything just contradicted. Just, I just don't believe that, you know, why Why many Muslims still following? Are they in the dark age or something like that? Or what, I don't know. Yeah, well, you know, uh, sometimes people, they need uh, a kind of uh, shocking, you know, like it's like sometimes somebody is asleep, you have to, to, to put some cold water in his face, right? To yeah, you're right. It's like me, because I, yeah. I, was, I, I was so <laughs> stupid until God open my eyes, because I will never convert to Christianity, no in my life, never, will never, even though the day I will die, I would never, but God touched me, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm happy for you, my friend. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless I, your family, and, uh, and the pain you suffer with, it's going to be a blessing oh, it's for so you. Oh, it's so painful, Christian Prince. It's so painful when I was the age of nine, you know, my mom and dad separated. I had to go to my dad's hometown, to be able to circumcise because every Muslim has to do it. Because, yeah. uh, you know, <clears throat> and it just, it, it, it hurt me because it's so painful. I could, if I could cry, I could cry. But thanks to the Lord, my mom been praying. She's been suffering, but I'm sure she's up there smiling at me. Right. You know, all my brother and sister you know, are Christian. Well, one of them is maybe true because I'm stubborn one. Being a Muslim, I was a stubborn that time, you know. Well, I would believe everything well, um, um, uh, Imam or Shaykh or Ustad, whatever, is just different, you know. Well, I'm glad for you, my friend, and I want to say thank you for calling me. Feel free to call me anytime you wish to say something or have a question. Thank you so much, Christian, for listening to my testimony. No problem. And all C brothers Tell your friends Christ. to call me if they have anything to share too, and we would like to help everybody. Thank you. For I will that. do, Christian Friend. Thank you so much.